Hey there YouTubers, today I'm going to show you how to use Media Player to create a USB audio device. Now this originally um, was brought to my attention from one of my viewers um, that watched one of my other videos where I showed you just a basic way of copying a CD to USB. Now Media Player, to access that, access that you're just going to do a search um, depending on what your computer is but I'm just going to type media player and there it is so as you can see I have a CD in but if you don't have a CD in you're going to see nothing and I'm trying to pop my CD out to see if uh, and you're going to see pretty much that so if you just open media player and you think your CD's in you might think this is your CD or this is your CD but it's not you're gonna to have to make sure that when you put it in <clears throat> you're gonna to wanna to see an actual CD over here but anyways um, one of the most important things is, is is this is this is all fine and dandy but you still have to make sure that you you have a fat 32 USB device and I mean you don't want to just go in here and you know go and just start uh, changing things and then just hit uh, rip CD because you don't know where it's gonna go so the best thing you can do is open open up your computer go to my computer um, in this case I just click the file and then I go to this PC this is Windows 10 and you're going to take your your USB device and you're going to put it in the computer. Now I just put mine in and you'll see <clears throat> that I already have three doors down on here. But this won't play. I I can put this in my car all I want. Um, this is listed as a multi-boot device. But if you right click on this and you go to properties you'll see this is NTFS I put this in my car or you put in any NTFS in your car it's not gonna play it's not gonna recognize it so you really need to right click and you need to click format and then you need to change this to fat 32 and then just you can keep quick format and click start click OK and it'll it'll take a matter of seconds to get this done and once it is done um, we can continue on to the next step okay so and that's it so you just close you can close this now um, now you'll see right here there's a list one two three and they're all you know named well you can just highlight all that click all that click this top one select them all um, Now you can uh, rip CD settings. I don't know why that changed all of a sudden, but um, there we go. So now we can go down here to more options. Click on more options, and then we can change the destination. Now I already have mine to the multi boot. So knowing what what uh, your USB device is is very important, especially if you accidentally keep you have two USB devices in and you forget and you just um, I mean you probably could um, I'll show you in a second you probably could just go ahead and uh, do a, a quick rip but anyways you click click the OK and then um, you can you can eject CD if you want um, just hit apply hit OK but right here you could have just clicked on here and um, uh, rip CD automatically. You could have just clicked that, and it would just um, go ahead and start doing it. But now you have all this checked. Now I'm going to click rip CD, and it'll take just a short time to um, to create the. Uh, you'll notice it'll go through each and every one of these, and when it's done, you'll have a file in there that'll say another 700 miles and or three doors down or whatever it's going to be and then inside that you'll see duck and run when I'm gone it'll be one two three four five six seven and when you put it in your car 
As soon as you put it in your car, this baby will start playing. It should be noticed immediately. Um, and that's pretty much it. Once this is done, I'll show you. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right. So now the the process is complete. You'll see three doors down in here, and another folder, another 700 miles, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven with all the names. And uh, this thing, you should be able to just stick it right in your your vehicle, and it should take off. So if you have any questions, let me know. Um, be more than happy to try to answer them. Thanks for watching.